data center market is huge, especially for server processors. In today's episode, I want to take a closer look at the roadmap for AMD, NVIDIA, Intel, and even some big tech players that are also in the server CPU market. Let's take a closer look in today's episode. So I believe the first place we should take a closer look at is to see how big this market is, the data center market. And each of these big players in the semiconductor space have kind of shared their, what they believe the total addressable market is. In the long term, AMD believes the data center is roughly 125 billion total addressable market for them, where 42 billion is coming from server CPU. So that's huge growth. If we take a closer look at Intel, they recently hosted a event where they talk about their data centers and AI solutions. This was March of 2023, so about not even a week old. And we can see they believe the server CPUs, chipset, G GPUs, FPGAs, and other type of semiconductor solutions in the next five years could be roughly a $110 billion total addressable market opportunity for them, growing at low 20 percentage compounded annual growth rate during that time frame. We also see from Intel that they believe that even with AI accelerator opportunity, 60% of AI silicon will still be some form of general compute, which is primarily managed by CPU. So even in this AI landscape, Intel believes that the uh, CPU market is still pretty, pretty important. We see here from NVIDIA in their analyst day last year that they believe the chips and system is a $300 billion opportunity, um, and that includes server servers, GPUs, CPUs, DPUs, NICs, and switches. So we can see from all three big tech giants in the semiconductor space that the server CPU market is very, very important for growth opportunities. Before we go any further, I want to thank you for watching and I need your help to reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. Also, if you want some fantastic insight into the semiconductor industry, join my other channel, Semiconductor Investing and More, where I use my electrical engineering background to break down the semiconductor market. Finally, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for their subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. So now what I want to take a closer look at is for us as investors to understand what are some of the roadmaps or server CPUs that have been released in the past few months and what is expected to come. So I want to start off with AMD. They recently released Genoa. Our uh, release date, I think, was quarter four of 2022 or late quarter three of 2022. So a few months ago, um, this is made under TSMC and their five nanometer, uh, five nanometer process. This is AMD's flagship for their fourth generation server CPU. And right now it seems to be doing amazing. This is an x86 product. Next is a very interesting name, and this is going to be Amazon. Yes, Amazon does have their own CPU. They recently released the Amazon Graviton 3E on quarter four of 2022. Amazon, their CPUs go only in their AWS servers. It's not for sale. It's just for their purpose use. They are great for certain workloads. They do mention, for example, for HPL, for Gromax, and for financial option pricings. Their G3E is a great platform for there. Like I mentioned, this is an update to their flagship third generation product, the Graviton 3, and this is ARM based. So we can see Amazon kind of creates their own solution. Back into the big players, we have Intel Sapphire Rapids. This was released on quarter one of 2023. The note here is Intel 7. Uh, so Intel manufactures this and kind of has their process node to kind of develop this. This is Intel's flagship of their fourth generation data center CPU. This is another x86 product. This is one that's teaming up with NVIDIA to kind of include this chip into their DGX H100, their OVX H100s, and all of the other NVIDIA infrastructure solutions that um, that kind of go with the H100. So the Intel Sapphire Rapids seems to be doing really, really well with AI workloads. Now I want to talk about future products. So those are the three main server CPUs that were released within the past quarter or two. Now let's take a closer look at future products. 
And the one that I believe is going to come out first is AMD Bergamo. This is going to be released or expected to be released in the first half of 2023. I do believe we will hear more from AMD in the upcoming months to see, hey, what's going to happen here. This is also going to be on TSMC's 5 nanometer node. Uh, it's going to be in the same platform as Genoa, the one we just saw. And this is just kind of an extension of AMD's fourth generation, where the other one was more of a general server CPU. This Bergamo is going to be more specific for like cloud native workloads another x86 and like i mentioned it's expected on the first half of 2023 next we do have amd genoa x and amd sienna i believe is pronounced but i could be butchering it and this is expected to be released in the second half of 2023 and this is again being built on S on tsmc's five nanometer node uh platform this is again another extension of their fourth generation amd has figured out that hey in the data center server market there are different workloads and maybe every a company might need different workload solutions so genoa x for example is great for technical computing and databases then the other one is optimized for things like intelligent edge and telecommunication so no actual dates here that we just know they are coming in the second half of 2023 we'll probably hear a little bit more about them in the upcoming earnings call or in the upcoming event that maybe amd might have i want to say maybe the genoa x might come a little bit earlier than expected uh, but still interesting to see how uh, AMD is releasing a nice amount of new products this year. Uh, next, coming in in the second half of 2023, we have NVIDIA's Grace. This is going to be on TSMC's 4 nanometer process node. So we can see that, hey, TSMC is a huge manufacturer here. All the big players choose them outside of Intel. This is going to be NVIDIA's first server CPU Unlike AMD and unlike Intel, this is going to be an ARM product, very similar to Amazon's Graviton, which is another ARM product. Uh, NVIDIA has mentioned that, hey, this is a product that they believe has very, very niche markets. And they believe in those very niche markets, this NVIDIA's great CPU will be amazing. I'm pretty sure one of those niche markets is going to be AI workload. So I'm super excited to hear more about NVIDIA's Grace. I did a few video about, about NVIDIA's GTC event, and I'm pretty sure I covered this a little bit. Coming out in the end of 2023 is Intel's Emerald Rapids. And... This is going to be kind of an extension of the Sapphire Rapids, right? It's going to be on the same platform, Intel 7. So what ends up happening here is someone wants to upgrade to, to the next generation. Uh, and this is going to be their fifth generation, they mentioned. Uh, if they want to upgrade to a next generation, it'll be an easy switch. And that's what you like to see. Sometimes it helps kind of grow and keep customers because you're showcasing, hey, our platforms are used for numerous generations. AMD has done the same. AMD's first, second, and third generation were all in one platform. Just their most recent fourth generation was on a new platform. So here we can see intel their fourth generation sapphire rapid their fifth generation intel um, emerald rapids are going to be on the same platform of node intel 7. Uh, so this one's going to be pretty interesting they did mention that they are sampling today and uh, so pretty great to see how we are seeing huge innovation here in this data center cpu market now let's take a closer look at post 2023 unfortunately from amd we don't have too much information the only thing we know is in 2024 we are expecting the send five products and these are expected to be on tsmc's four to three nanometer uh platform uh which is going to be a nice step uh, uh, uptake here i do believe amd will eventually have an event where they're going to talk a little bit more about those future send five but at the moment we just know there is a form of roadmap for them um, kind of talking about Intel, like I mentioned, Intel recently hosted an event, so we do have a little bit more information from them. So in 2024, Intel is expected to release two CPUs, Sierra Forest, which is right here, and then Granite Rapids, which is right here. Both of these are, are actually going to be in the next generation of Intel node, and that is going to be Intel 3 process. So if they get to do that, I think that would be great news if they continue to, if they have great yields on their Intel 3. They also even give us something in 2025, and that is going to be Clearwater right here, and that is going to be on Intel's 18A process. 
Now, we do not, we haven't heard anything from Amazon and their Graviton 4. Like I mentioned, Amazon's a big, big player, so they don't really kind of showcase too much of their CPU solutions, especially since it's only meant for their servers. But we might expect to hear something about their next generation of Graviton maybe in late 2023. But this could be, this could obviously be pushed off later. Again, no confirmation here. It would most likely be on TSMC's 5 nanometer process. Uh, and it would be their fourth generation. And again, it will be ARM based. Now, one that's, I think, super interesting and one that I really want to hear more about is Google. There have been reports that came out in early February of 2023. That Google has developed its own data center server CPUs and they are expected to be on their data center solutions as soon as 2025. And Google is no kind of first part starter here in creating their own silicon. Intel has created kind of a version of the GPU, the tensor processing unit, which is great for uh for artificial intelligence workloads and they've been using those since like 2015 or 2016 so it is pretty cool to see into um, google also focusing on developing their own server cpu i do want to say amazon creates it google creates it i wouldn't be surprised if microsoft later on creates it but in my opinion there's still a huge market for companies like intel for amd and for nvidia because all these cpus all have a solution or are all optimized for certain workloads so while google might focus on a specific workload they'll still have to purchase something from amd intel and maybe even nvidia to kind of uh to kind of fill the gap in those other solutions that they need to so again this was more just a roadmap I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It's great to kind of keep track to see where innovation is coming. Let me know, should I do a roadmap for GPUs or maybe just server uh, for CPUs for the consumer market? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, have a good day, and see you next time.